Research, Rolling Stone, um, oh my God, how would you find this? Uh, Rolling Stone uh, reporter mysteriously killed. And it'll bring it up. Um, dude, they get rid of people who know too much. You don't know that by now? So how are you still alive? But you just laugh like a sinister little beast. What? You dance the best. Um, well, because if you heard of the Phoenix, yes, no. These short naps you're having are really great. <laughs> No, I said, have you heard of the Phoenix? What have you heard of the Phoenix? <laughs> Whichever one you believe. Oh, well, you should believe at least one of them. Um, it's spelled differently, though. If you were to Google hashtag the F-E-N-I-X... Um, it, that's my code name with the Jason Bourne project. If you were to Google the real Jason Bourne, it's not a movie. It's a real CIA project that started in 1953. There are several people in the Jason Bourne project, and I think you're one of them and don't know it. I'm not, a, I'm not even joking. Google the project and read the details and tell me if the puzzle starts to fit. Girl, you're not as smart as you are by accident, and if you honestly think they haven't been using and programming you, then you don't know about CERN either, do you? CERN, CIA Mind Control Project, started in 1949 worldwide. But then if you Google, like, um, social media distortion CIA and Kurt Kelly and find the ink stamp article, according to um, an article written in 1952 at the CIA, um, which somehow I was attached to, um, which I researched and goes back to the late 1800s. See, when we started the CIA, um, we had already done our shit and we were hitting the ground running. We had already been profiling people back to the previous century. And there are predictable characteristics in family bloodlines that recycle. You don't know about this? Oh, girl, I have to educate you, I can see. In the spy world, you, you're in a world that you don't know about that you're in, that they don't want you to know you're in. How do you think you got to the level you got in Microsoft and got to be Bill's right-hand guy with Melinda? That was an accident? Or you're just a good ass kisser. Well, well, well. Okay, so what's Lori's story on how she got to the top of the food chain at Microsoft's on? Ah! You slept your way there? Okay, so how'd you do it? Ah, that always helps. You can kind of tease around that little desk, can't ya? And wear that nice little low-cut top, girl. Shake your booty. Uh, oh, see, you're already better than men in black. Okay, great. <laughs> and you had to do that retina thing to get in? You know what they were really feeding in your eye? You really think I'm being silly? Girl, if you can imagine it, we've already done it. I guarantee fucking to you. You want me to show you some examples? When you invite me to your housewarming party, if you invite me, I shouldn't assume you're inviting me, you probably won't invite me. But if you were to invite me, I could probably show you an underground world you don't know exists. Complete cities, complete cities. You can go underneath any major city, including Los Angeles. I've been 20 plus stories below Grand Central Station. How do you think I found Ali North's dumping grounds and made him 
have to go before some, some kid in a hearing because I threatened to bring the networks down and show them how to get there. The government didn't like that, so the trade-off was somebody was going to take a fall. I'm that motherfucker that breaks news stories that you don't attach your name to because it's not always healthy to do that publicly. I actually had Peter Jennings direct your piece and was calling in news stories from foreign locations because they knew I was that tight. I could read it and he could read it back as he's hearing it in an earpiece, say it back, and it, it hit network time because I had just been doing network that many years. You have to be right on the fucking second. If it's a 10 second bit, it better be 10, not nine and a half. I'm a rock star what I do. I'm good. And I know I'm good. Oh baby, let me show you the ways. Ass ascertain. <laughs> we haven't gone to a movie in a long time. I think it's time we go to a movie again. I said we haven't been to a movie in a long time. Okay, so now to get to the big part. Um, I really do think you need to look at the Jason Bourne project. The real it's under the real Jason Bourne. And read the stuff about how they got with mothers, married and unmarried, select mothers to then get like an artificial insemination to create these super minds. Would you consider yourself to be a super mind? A super mind. Do you have a super mind? Your mind processes and, and figures things out faster than most people on the table. Dude, I, I, I usually skip a lot of the book and go to the, you know, the footnotes and the cliff notes and go, okay, that's bullshit, this is real, okay, I'm done. I, I don't have time for it. People do, what books do you like to read? The ones they pay me to read on tape. Otherwise, I'm not interested in reading jack shit. I read and write more news than most people will ever see in their life. Two point five. <laughs> Kind of like the old days that listened to Top 40 Radio where they used to speed up 45s to like 47 and a half. Yeah, because it made the song brighter and we move along and gave it that extra kick. Music, I've gotten better at listening at normal speed now, but if the song's kind of slow and drudgery, unless I'm in that kind of mood, I can't handle it. i got to get something that's moving. I need, I need life. Anyway, the, the phoenix is the guy who rises from the ashes. They can't kill him. I keep rising from the ashes. God knows they've tried many times. <laughs> what the fuck happened that time? 